My name is Ann McKeel Ross. Live in Temple Terrace, have for 50 years, and we've really enjoyed it. Most people have a commitment to something. They collect something or they have an interest in something. And it so happened that our interest was in art. My degree is in art. In fact, 50 years ago, we designed this house and we designed it with lots of walls so we could have a place for art. We love Kentucky. I always thought we would live in Kentucky, but when Jay graduated from the University of Louisville School of Dentistry, we were sent to McDill Air Force Base. But while we were there, the interesting thing was reading about this new state university that was gonna be located someplace in Hillsborough County. So one Sunday, Jay and I decided we would go look, see where this new university is gonna be located. Finally, after winding around, found this little two-lane road, Fowler Avenue. We drove and drove and drove, and then we saw this sign, Future Home of State University. After we completed a three-year tour at McDill, we moved to Temple Terrace in the spring of 1960, and the university opened its first classes in the fall. I started taking night classes, one class at a time. I graduated from USF in 1979. I was fortunate enough to start working at USF. I was Director of Community Relations from 1980 to 1996. Our friend, Dr. Don Saff, is the founder of Graphic Studio, and he came to us in this living room and said that he had a vision. He wanted to bring established artists to the university where they could work in a non-commercial environment and have interaction with the faculty and students. The only problem was he needed some financial support. So we had parties here where Don Saff would come and talk to our friends about his vision. The first year there were nine subscribers and now it is internationally known. Long time ago, I went to a lecture at USF by young professor, Dr. Ellen Kimmel. And Dr. Kimmel's talk was about the importance of how women should be helping other women. And she concluded her talk by saying, success is not how high you go, but how many you brought along. That made such a great impression on me, listening to her talk about our responsibilities as well as the opportunities that we have in helping others. I am so grateful and feel so honored to receive this award. I do think, though, that every time one receives a award or recognition, that that has been in conjunction with other people. I feel that there have been a lot of women out in the audience here that have brought me along. And I feel blessed to have had the guidance of so many wonderful women.